across America and around the world, humanity is transitioning to clean, inexhaustible wind and solar energy. But not everyone is pleased. The fossil fuel industry still seeks to preserve its dominance. Michigan anti-clean energy activist Kevin Martis is well known for his opposition to clean solar and wind energy throughout the Midwest and in his frequent travels across America. I'm also a senior policy fellow at E&E Legal Institute. Mr. Martis is a self-described senior fellow for E&E Legal, a Washington DC lobbying firm which derives funding from the fossil fuel industry. What solutions do Kevin Martis and E&E Legal propose? In an article written for Bridge Magazine, Mr. Martis wrote this, Michigan is uniquely positioned to extract natural gas from its own abundant Antrim Shale, which he called Great News. Antrim Shale is a geological formation that underlies the whole of Michigan's lower peninsula. The process used to extract gas from the shale, as Mr. Martis proposes, is hydrological fracturing also known as fracking. As the name implies, the process uses water under high pressure to fracture deep rock formations. The mixture of water and chemicals that returns to the surface is held on site in massive ponds that must be carefully monitored. A recent study from Duke University showed that water used per fracked well has increased by almost 800% in recent years. When you think about it on a per well pad basis, it's, it's really a stunning amount of water. They used to be using 6 million gallons. They, they went up to 10 million. Now you're talking about wells that are using well in excess of 15 million gallons of fresh water per frack. And that trend is increasing by about 7 to 9% per year. The Duke study also projected a 50-fold increase in water use by 2030 for this unconventional gas. In the past decade, hundreds of thousands of fracked wells across America have ceased being profitable to exploit and have been abandoned. The wells, often leaking toxins into surface water and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, have become wards of the state, with cleanup costs falling on taxpayers. The Antrim formation and some of these peripheral formations, those are the exact formations where these ratios are going to go through the roof. They're going to need more water, produce more waste, it's going to be done by smaller and smaller players who have no capital to back up what it is they're saying they want to do, which is going to cause more and more mess, which is going to end up being paid for by the taxpayer because these guys are not solvent and they don't have the capital to clean up when they inevitably screw up. In Michigan, water is an essential part of the heritage of all those that live here. The fracking industry and e and Legal have their eyes on that water unless we change direction to clean energy that needs almost no water and needs no fuel and begin allowing nature to heal. More and more Americans are understanding that we owe at least that much to our children and our children's children.